How much influence does the media have on people's political views? All right, good evening. My name is Mario. Welcome back to the vlog. Just got out of the shower wearing a nice bathrobe. Don't worry, I'm fully clothed here. But uh, I really wanted to do a really fun video. I was just sitting there and I was watching all these YouTube videos and I'm thinking, man, I need to create some content here. I'm, I'm trying to get on a roll here. We're trying to break a thousand subscribers. So if you're watching this video, like, subscribe, share this video. We are 350-ish away. It's taken me uh, 11 years to reach 650 subscribers, so maybe we can break 350 more in 30 days. I don't know. It really just depends on you all, so uh, please, uh, please subscribe. We would appreciate it. And just remember our theme and motto here on my channel is we are real apostolics with real problems with real solutions all solved in a divine way. Again, my name is Mario, and today we're gonna do something fun. We, uh, I was just sitting there and I just got a crazy idea and I decided, you know what? I'm going to go to this website and it's a random topic generator. And so I simply press this button and it chooses a, chooses a question for me. And I'm just gonna blitz through this. I'm gonna do 20 questions and I'm gonna answer as fast as I can. We'll try to make the questions no more than 10 seconds. So we're gonna put a timer up here. Whatever happens, happens. So whatever question goes comes up, I've gotta answer it. So uh, just so you know that I'm not editing, we're gonna put a timer up here and then I'm actually going to uh, record it and so you all can follow along with me and I'll have the video right here so if you're ready let's go boom first question who is a singer that you like Ooh, I really really enjoy um, she's a Spanish apostolic singer uh, Sarai unbelievable I'll have a link to her to to I'll, I'll put down here uh, my favorite song that she sings what do you think is the best age for a political leader I would think 50 55 I mean I definitely think you need some life experience to lead others um, and and you've obviously gone through it yourself but I think that'd be pretty pretty good what would be your dream job making YouTube videos Hey, it could happen, right? Do you have a favorite sports team? I do. Whichever team Tom Brady's on. Let's go. Do you think it's important to stay up to date with current affairs? Yes and no. You just got to be careful with it because if you let too much negativity come into your mind, it really does affect your day. So keep it with a grain of salt, but uh, yeah, keep up to date. What kind of souvenirs do you bring back from holidays? Um, I don't. My wife does, though. Have you ever worked in a restaurant? Oh my goodness. I lasted three days in a restaurant. I got to the point where I literally shut down during my shift and just left and never came back. S sorry, Chop House. Who is a singer that you like? Skip. Are you allergic to anything? I am not, unless I get poison ivy. I get it pretty bad. Where would you live if you could live anywhere? Easy, Santorini, Greece. I would live in a white house with a pool, with an infinity pool looking out across the Mediterranean Sea uh, and one of the houses on the hillsides. Yes, yes, yes. What is a friend of yours probably doing at the moment? Probably on Snapchat. You know I don't like Snapchat. You know I don't approve of Snapchat. Watch this video and you'll hear my opinion on Snapchat. How would you spend your perfect birthday? With my wife, chocolate cake, and a nice meal. What's the scariest movie you've seen? 
There was this movie that I watched recently with my wife. It talked about the rapture. I literally cried after that. And I don't want to be left when the rapture comes. It's scary. It made me cry. I repented that night and I was in tears praying. Me and my wife did actually. If I can find the movie, I'll, I'll put it here. What headline do you wish you could see one day? Christ Revealed. What countries have you visited? United States, Honduras, Mexico, Costa Rica, Belize. Have you lived in another city or country? I have not, but I've always wanted to live in Honduras, where my family's at, for a summer. Are you afraid of any animals? Mm, I used to be terrified of crickets. Like, unbelievably terrified. And then I finally stepped on one and I realized, I've got power over you, bro. Never was afraid again after that. Do you have a healthy diet? No. If you got any suggestions, comment down below. New healthy trends, foods to eat, let me know. What law would you like to introduce? The law of shut your mouth. I'm kidding, I don't know. <laughs> uh, when you're getting annoyed, do you bottle it up or let it out? <sighs> Man, it depends on who I'm talking to if I really want to show my emotions in the moment and I can get pretty bad about that. But for the most part, I probably bottle it up. What pictures do you have on your bedroom walls? Ones of me, my wife, and Canelita. Do you share your birthday with anyone famous? I feel like someone told me I might share the same birthday with Ronaldo, but I'm not entirely sure. Do you prefer home cooked food or restaurant food? Um, gosh, I could be so mean about my wife on this one, but we'll go with restaurant food. Uh, would you like to live until you're 1,000? With the way the world's trending right now, absolutely not. Get me out at 85 and I'm done. Who is the funniest person you know? Oh, gosh. Um, my wife, my wife is really funny. She does some really, really oinky things that, that you all would not expect. Do you think it's important to vote? 100%. How much influence does the media have on people's political views? Oh, man. You don't want to, you don't want to enter this conversation with me on that one, but very much, very, very much, too much. Last question. Are you optimistic or pessimistic about the future? What a question. I can't even make that up. I can't even make that up. That's awesome. I am very optimistic about the future. I think uh, God is working a great revival right now. I think he's doing signs, wonders, and miracles as he said he would do. I believe he's pouring out his spirit upon all flesh and sons and daughters will dream dreams and and yeah, it's it's we got a great future ahead of us. There's there there's things to fear about, and then there's things to be really excited about. So we know everything that's happening right now is aligning with the word, which means God is coming soon. So if you have not repented and been baptized in the wonderful name of Jesus, do that now. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch this video where I explain baptism, how you need to be baptized in Jesus' name. Share this video. Hope you all enjoyed it wanted to make this quick and short and just keep this uh, YouTube train consistently going. Let's hit a thousand subscribers. Can we do it? Comment down below if we can do it. And don't forget to enter into our Christmas giveaway 2020. My wife and I are giving a $15 Starbucks gift card and a Christmas card from us to one of you and you still have six days to do it. So watch this video to uh to join the challenge or to join uh the the giveaway or you can click on the link below in the description but uh we love you all always praying for you and uh yeah we'll see you in the next video bye